On this occasion, I'd like to speak to you about gardener sumps, and in particular, um, about their use of Electrum, a special um, aluminium manganese alloy that they used, uh, not, I believe, in crankcases or, or um, end plates or any other components, but primarily in, in sumps. I think they did this because um, it's a very light uh, alloy, so you can save weight. It was developed, Electron was developed back, I think, in the 1920s in Germany, and it was used in aircraft back then, and even up until uh, the, first, the Second World War. Um, okay, Electron uh, will save weight in an engine, but it's quite prone to corrosion, and it's also fiendishly difficult to weld. So I think those two factors went against it in the long run and Gardner moved away from Electron and back to conventional uh, aluminium alloys in the, in, the, in the latter engines. So um, we're just going to take a look now at some examples of corrosion in Gardner uh, sumps. Here you've got a sump made out of Electron and you can see where somebody has tried welding it there, not very successfully. Um, you'd almost, you can almost tell by the sheen on here that it's not quite your normal um, aluminium alloy. Now this is a, a marine, this is a marine 8LXB rear pan sump. You can see it's in a pretty, a pretty sorry state. That looks to me like a, a purposeful hole there, but you can still see a lot of corrosion there in that sump. So I would suggest this is almost certainly um, electron. But I also know that that particular sump on a particular engine also went for a swim at one stage. So that won't have helped things either. It was also uh, allowed to sit out in a warehouse for oh, a couple of years before anything was done about it. So it's in a pretty sorry state. Now here we have, which I'm really quite confident is a conventional aluminium alloy sump. You'll see that it's been um, extensively welded, but professionally done. Um, I know the people who did this and they're really very good at their job. And we've tested it and it's, it's holding fine. So I am really quite confident of that sump. It's a, a front pan sump. So um, it will have come out of a lorry of some sort. And another one in very good condition. I'm not too sure of its age, but again, I, I would have a lot of confidence in that sump, better than the one behind it. It's standard practice for us here uh, to remove the gauze and to treat the whole innards of the sump with um, a red oxide primer. Super job. Um, I hope you got something out of that. Now, I can't pretend to be an expert in this. This is very much a subject for specialist metallurgists. Um, I can probably just about manage to spell metallurgist, but after that, I'm afraid I'm, I'm, I'm out of my depth. So I hope that was of some interest to you and you got something out of it. Um, don't fret if you've got a, a sump that's corroded and it's got holes in it. We can sort it out for you. We've got some very skilled welders here now. And we can, they've actually sussed the welding of Electron and we can do that quite, uh, quite successfully. We've also got a process where we can dip the whole sump in plastic and that seals it completely. And we also have other chemicals that we can treat the inside of the sump with um, to prevent corrosion. So it's nothing to, um, to worry about unduly. So thank you so much for joining us and on we go to the next one.